All right, so in this video, we're going to take a look at a program called Dinosaur Adventure. This is uh, kind of like an uh, educational entertainment uh, type application. So I believe that's edutainment or whatever that kind of a uh, subgenre is called. But uh, this is a program that um, I did actually have a copy of way back in the day on a 46 computer that uh, my dad had for our family. Um, so yeah, this was uh, an application we had on like 3.5 inch floppy disks and uh, this is uh, yeah, the first time I've uh, opened this up again since uh, the mid 90s or whenever, uh, whenever it was that I ran it the first time. Uh, it's basically, uh, it just goes over a lot of stuff about dinosaurs. So if we look at, hmm, click here to read a dinosaur storybook. Let's see what this is. Long, long ago, animals called dinosaurs lived on the earth. Oh, really? There were big ones. And small ones. <laughs> there were wet ones. And dry ones. Some flew in the sky. Some walked on the ground. Some ate plants. And some ate other dinosaurs. Oh no. I'm, uh, I'm really liking this uh, backing music. It's quite entertaining. Where did they all come from? From mother and father dinosaurs, of course. Where did they go? Well, we don't know. But some people think comets killed them all. Oh, poor dinosaurs. And now all that's left is bone. Hmm. So that is the dinosaur storybook. It's quite interesting. Um. Oh, here we go. Check out these awesome movies. Uh, which one? This one is, I think, on the intro Here's screen. Like, look at how realistic this is. It's almost like you're there. looks a little weird. Oh, I'm actually kind of curious uh, as to how this company actually made these videos, if they just like went into the forest somewhere uh, and put some poor sucker into a giant costume, or if this is some sort of uh, a robot. Yeah, I don't know, this doesn't, I mean, to me, it doesn't really seem like it's computer generated. It seems like someone's standing there with a camcorder pointed at uh, some sort of giant fake dinosaur. But I I don't know. I mean, if you happen to know, you can go ahead and comment. Uh, I'm not really expecting a response, but yeah, that's just my guess. Um... Here we can explore the world of dinosaurs. Uh, I think these kind of like different uh, categories of information. So if we look at, I guess, the whole Earth, dinosaurs roam the Earth in 250 million BC, and then you've got the scale you can actually move. But or if you just click anywhere, so like if we click on this one, this is Triceratops. And I think this will give us more information on the Triceratops. Triceratops. Yes. The rhinoceros of dinosaurs. So it's interactive in that you move your mouse over other things and let's see what it says. Uh, skull had almost no openings to make it lighter. Interesting. 
over here. Click to see the Triceratops in a fight. That might just be the original video we looked at, so I'm not going to click there. What I am going to do is I'm going to randomly move this thing over here a bit. Earth as we know it, 50 million BC. Click here to see more of the ancient Earth. Hmm, okay. 320 million BC. Tree ferns of some sort. Okay. What about 15 billion? The Big Bang. Click to see about the expanding universe. Sure, tell us more. Ooh, galaxies. Interesting. So, now if you wanted to look at a few other things here, like... Tell me more about... History, I suppose. Universe at a glance. The Earth forms 4.6 billion years ago. Really? Interesting. Oh, who's this guy? Supposedly it's Charles Darwin. Let's click on him and see some more stuff. Molecules. So let's click on a molecule. Earth comes alive. So I think pretty much each thing you click just kind of takes, uh, well, I thought this would move forward a bit, but, um, what is this, a couple cells? Now where did our cursor thing go and it's just gone entirely? What? Okay, I don't know. I suppose what we could also do is, if we zoom in on the little earth thing, and I think we can actually click, possibly, on... Ah, <laughs> what beautiful teeth. Um, okay, so little dots, I guess, are like dinosaur-related things. What does this one from Belgium say? Iguanodon. Uh, not an iguana. Wow, that's interesting. And then it tells you a bit of information here. Uh, the iguanodon, something or other. And then you can scroll through, read a bunch of detailed information about it. So I guess if you were to look for other things, if you wanted to know more about mammals, you'd click this one here. The mammoth. Ooh, and there's Alaska. And then if we, let's see, woolly mammoth. Um, tusks. We click this thing. What is this? <laughs> I have no idea. You can also print all this information out uh, if you were using for a school project, which I quite likely did at some point in the past. Uh, I would have been in elementary school when I was using this. Uh, I think if you click on this button here, this library, um, this is a uh, bibliography, I guess, among other things. So if we just click on a letter, You can look at a few different things here. Deadly. What happens if we click deadly? Oh. Oh, just things under deadly. So this is a deadly dinosaur. Small, but deadly. Wow. Yeah, this is for sure some sort of like robotic model. It, it just seems that way looking at this video. That's pretty entertaining. Um, there's one last thing I'm going to, uh, look at here. Um, there's two kind of, like, trivia games. Uh, this one here, I don't think I'm going to play because it requires my speakers to be turned up a little higher so I can hear, uh, the, what that, what they're actually saying. Uh, I think. Uh, I'm gonna play this one, where what you do is... Monster. 
Brontosaurus. Okay, so it says find the Brontosaurus. Um, this isn't in any random order, so this is the exact same order of questions each time you open this part of the program. So, I mean, sure, that works, but I mean, you could just memorize it, so I think that was this one down here. You're right. You found the Brontosaurus. Oh, I found the Brontosaurus. Find the Tyrannosaurus. Yes, the Tyrannosaurus, I think, is this one. Keep looking. This is the Albertosaurus. Oh, I made a mistake. I think it's this one. You're right. You found the Tyrannosaurus. Okay, they look Find exactly the, the same. Albertosaurus. And I only know this is the Albertosaurus because he just said it was. You're right. You found the Albertosaurus. Thank you. Find the Pteranodon. Um. I. It's. I don't think it's this. You're right. Oh. You found the Pteranodon. I did find it. Find the Protoceratops. Protoceratops. Uh. Um. Keep looking. This is the Styracosaurus. Keep looking. <sighs> this is the Triceratops. Keep looking. This <laughs> is the Ankylosaurus. Okay, I'm never going to get this right, so let's just go back to the menu. <laughs> um, yeah, so I mean, this is kind of uh, a pretty neat program for uh, learning about dinosaurs. Uh, it's not like... I wouldn't consider this to be uh, much of a, of a game. It's really just for knowledge. Um, but yeah, I mean, if dinosaurs are something that interests you, uh, this might be a fun retro game or retro program to uh, check out. So yeah, not much else I'm going to show. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.